Well, I don't think anybody expected this. While a new Paper Mario game has been rumored for a while, today we officially got a trailer uploaded by Nintendo onto YouTube. Once again, the paper in Paper Mario is being emphasized with the enemies being origami. Origami is a form of craft is sculptures made out of paper. You fold it to make uh, certain objects, like a bird, for example. Now, the game itself is called Paper Mario Origami King, in which a king made of uh, origami tries to take over the Mushroom Kingdom and turn its inhabitants into origami sculptures. You can see in the beginning of the trailer that Princess Peach herself has been turned into origami and tries to convince our hero, Mario, to join her. Now the last two games also emphasize the paper aesthetic, with stickers, paint, and the general landscape behaving more like paper. This time it does seem to be, be just a bit more of an art style choice. Uh, it doesn't really factor into the general fighting, which I can see, which is so much better than the previous games, having you use paint or stickers in the fighting process. And even painting those cards in Paper Mario Sticker Star, not Sticker Star, Color Splash, is a lot painful. It's very painful. It's just, it's pain. I hated having to look between the gamepad and the television. Having to look between them and stuff. The writing in uh, Color Splash was actually fairly decent, and it looks to be about the same here. Especially that opening sequence they showed us in the trailer. That was... Pretty good, actually. The, the fighting is somewhat different from previous games. They seem to put you in sort of this arena-type setting and scattering enemies around you, and you can rotate these different circles in order to line up the enemies to get the most out of your attacks. It's not the turn-based system from the first two games. It's not one-on-one -on -one platform fighting like Super Paper Mario. But it isn't sticker fighting, and it's not card fighting, so I'll take that over that. It is a definite, definite improvement, and it might even add another depth of layer onto the fighting. Pardon the mixed up turn of phrase there. What I mean is it will add depth to the fighting. A new layer of challenge. And even better, partners seem to be back, although they are pretty much generic Bowser minions, but honestly, I'll take what I- I can really honestly just take what I can get at this point. I'd rather have generic partners than no partners at all. And as I said before, Peach actually be ends up becoming an evil origami piece. That's slightly more original than uh, Peach getting kidnapped, but you know, they've kind of done the Peach becoming corrupted and evil thing before, you know. Shadow Queen, Thousand Year Door. Could have got, could have done that again, Nintendo. You, you, you could have, you could have done that again. But I digress. The game really does seem to be an overall improvement from the previous two, due to partner inclusion and an original villain, not Bowser. And Luigi also makes an appearance of some kind. I know he was in Color Splash. I only played the first hour of Color Splash, because that's really about all I could tolerate. And I only got through the first ten minutes of Sticker Star, because, again, that's all I could really tolerate. I, I would like to say that I'm cautiously optimistic. But I'm not willing to put my full support behind this yet. I'm gonna buy it. It'll be the first Paper Mario game I'll have bought new. In a very, very long time. A very long time. And, to add some extra news on top of this, there was a report that was sent out by VentureBeat that these Mario remasters that I talked about a couple weeks ago are also close to being uh, announced or released or being ready to release, along with Pikmin 3 Deluxe. Now, I've not really talked about Pikmin much on this channel, I am a Pikmin fan. I am a fan of the characters, the world, the story, not the gameplay. And that's because that's not because I think it's bad. It's because I am bad at it. I suck at strategy. I am terrible at it. And trying to 
dole out tasks to the captains and the Pikmin. It, it's too much for, for my smooth brain. <laughs> and of course, the, the Mario ports slash remasters remakes, we don't really, I, I guess we don't really know what they are yet. Uh, I'm really excited for that. I really want to play Super Mario Sunshine on my Switch. The Galaxy games as well, actually, because I want to see just how that translates to Switch hardware without a Wii Remote. Unless they release some sort of peripheral that's uh, basically a Joy-Con in a Wii remote shell. That could actually be really interesting. So what do you all think of uh, Paper Mario or Pikmin 3 Deluxe or the Mario uh, remasters incoming? I'd like to know. Until next time, I'm Professor Kagan, Professor Inigo only. Y'all take it easy.